and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and this is not what we're painting today. I promise. This is an old canvas that I painted a while ago and I don't like it. I ended up with a big blue smush on the side and it really is just um, not something that makes me smile. So if it doesn't make you smile, change it. That's my point of view. <laughs> if it's not fun, don't do it. And if it doesn't make you smile, don't um, change it. So, what am I going to do on here? I am going to create a little summit or other. Uh, I just want to play with something that I did in yesterday's live video. And I want to see if it works. You're probably not going to see this one dry. Why? Because it's Monday and today needs a video and I haven't done one. So I'm going to record this, see if the technique I have in my mind will create what I'm looking to create deliberately <laughs> rather than just, oh wow, that was clever yesterday. Um, so first thing we need is some a cup to put some paint in. Second thing we need is some paint. So what colours are we going to be doing today? I decided to go completely away from the pink. <laughs> some of you have been following me for a while and know that I have a really, really, really dis big dislike for pink. Um, which I find is very interesting because I don't know why that is. Have no concept. It's probably from another lifetime or something, you know. Actually, before I do that, I'm actually, I'm going to put some white in there first. But I can't put it in first because I've already put my blue, phthalo blue. Put some white in there. I put some blue in there. Now I'm going to throw some red. Oh, whoops! Won't use the end of that stick. Now this red is made from crimson and orange, so it's quite a cool one, but it's a bit runny. Then we're going to go with meadow green, which is the one colour that we didn't use yesterday. Because I don't think meadow, meadow green and um, viridian hue go very well together. They're my two greens, and I don't get that they actually create greatness together. This is a very Christmassy coloured themology. What do you reckon? We've got Red and green, yellow and blue make green. Let's put some more blue in there because it's probably just going to stick to the bottom. Can you tell I'm actually just using up some colours. I've got two things I want to test from yesterday, so um, who knows? Wednesday might be the second test of the other option. So let me just zoom back out again. I'm trying um, a color, what do they call, filter on my camera to see if we can get more accurate colors. So um, I'm going to flip that cup over and just put the lid on the two that I still actually have anything in. I think almost all of these colours have got silicon in. That's why they're in the little tins. If they don't have silicon in them, they'll be in a big container like this where I've mixed a whole tube up. Um, but when they're in the little tins like this, it tends to mean that they've got silicon in them. So there's a possibility that all the colours have got silicon except for the white. So let's 
Look at that. There's definitely silicon in there. Wow. Okay. Now, what I wanted to test with this, we're probably going to end up with brown, messy, yuck. But that's okay. And that's all right. Even if the sun don't shine. I've got my palette knife. This is actually a cake spatula, I think is what it's called. And I'm just going to pour some white onto that. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm not very good at swipes. I have very, very lacked the capacity to do a decent swipe. But yesterday I swiped and, well, it was all squashed into the middle and I actually got cells and then they spread out and it looked really cool. And so that's what we're doing here. We're giving that another go. Instead of just swiping so that it's um, like spreading all the paint out and swiping across the whole thing, that's what I'm looking to. See, we have cells and it is, they are stretching. So, what am I doing here, guys? I'm sharing with you my process. There's something that has eluded me, is probably a good word, eluded. Um, and that is getting a decent swipe. And so I thought, well, I got something yesterday. Let's play. Maybe I don't actually have enough paint here. It's okay, so can you see how the paint the, the cells are starting to get rather misshapen? Um one of the reasons for that is if you don't have enough paint and they're sort of dragging on the bottom. And they're being dragged around while you're trying to cover your entire canvas. Instead of having a big pile of paint that just sort of flows nice and lovely across the world, you end up with squigglies. Now, in this case, I'm actually quite liking my squigglies, but I don't always. I like it like that. So, the concept worked, which is always a bonus. And now I can go in and give it another little bit of a torch and add a few more little cells in a few little places. Pop any air bubbles. So the concept works. Big fat pile of paint in the middle and swipe over that and then spread that out. What I would do in the future is probably swipe 
and then put more paint around the outside so that it's got something to run over as it spreads. But I like that. That makes me happy. So, we all know that these things dry. And I promise you I will show you this in Wednesday's video when it is actually dry. <laughs> but... This is today's video, and I had fun exploring it and sharing that exploration with you, and um, so Wednesday's video will be a little bit more different, but I will show you this in the dry segment of Wednesday's video, with Wednesday's dry one too. I'm waffling, how's it getting better? Um... I thought I'd slip this in here. <laughs> I just looked in the pot. And um, so before I say goodbye, um, I thought I would just show you this. This this is what's left in the pot after I did the flip cup. Um, and it just so screams Christmas Day to me. Uh, I thought I'd make myself a little pendant just to wear on Christmas Day that's like, you know, green and red and Christmassy. So I've got my cabochon stuck to my stick and flat side up and polished. So I'm going to go in there and just dip it in. And I got snowy, Christmassy kind of look. Um, so I'll let that dry and I'll show that to you on Wednesday as well. Alright. Well. That's it from me. Don't. I'm not going to count to three. Because. I'm done. This is my painting and I'm happy with it. It is kind of cool. And it's definitely better than that pink thing that I had before. <laughs> All right, guys, I adore you. Thank you for joining me for this super quick video, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.